Eye Glaucoma presents Surgical Gonioscopy Tips for Success with a Corza Hands-Free Gonio Prism. Video sponsored by Corza Medical. Hello, my name is Dr. Constance Okeke. I'm a glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon and an avid user of mixed technologies. I recently started using the Corza Hands-Free Gonio Prism and have been impressed with what it has to offer in angle surgery. In this video, I'd like to share with you some tips to help you gain the most value out of your initial experience with a hands-free gonio prism. If you missed my first video, where I also highlight some really useful aspects of the prism that can enhance your view during angle surgery, check out the link in the description box below. One of the major benefits of the hands-free gonio prism is being able to be just that, hands-free. If you're like me and had prior experiences performing angle surgery, where one hand is holding the lens and the other is holding the device, and you just wish you had an extra hand so you could give that hand holding the device some extra support, feeling like if I could just let go of one hand but without losing my view, well, that's what you can do with a hands-free gonio prism. You can place the prism on the cornea, get it into position, have a clear wide angle view of the angle, and then let go. Occasionally, you might nudge the lens to readjust your view, but if you want to treat more of the angle, you can just shift the prism from side to side. In order to get the clearest view, one must increase magnification to high levels to see the best detail. You may find that you need to go a bit higher on magnification with a hands-free gonio prism than you do for your routine handhold prism with a handle. But another benefit is the wide angle view of the hands-free gonio prism that allows for wider sweeps with mixed procedures that utilize 90 to 180 degrees of the angle. Let's look at a mixed goniotomy technique with a trabectome where you can be striving for up to 180 degrees of treatment in the nasal angle. I found that after going in with the dominant hand uh, in the dominant direction, the view and the positioning are fine. But when going in the opposite direction, where my hand feels more awkward, turned and kind of going in the non-dominant direction, I tend to have less of a clear view. That is in part because of the created tension on the cornea with my prism, trying to move the lens to see more of the angle, in addition to the tension being created by my grip, because sometimes when I turn in the other direction, I don't maintain as solid of a grip as I had when I started. So I've found that with the hands-free gonio prism, I can gently nudge the lens to the side with my tires to get a better view without that vertical pressure to cause corneal folds that could reduce my great angle view. And if I need to, I could let go of the hands-free gonio prism and still have the view of the tip of the device so that I can get a better grip on the handle. Look, hands-free. So now let me share some few handy tips with you. At times there may be viscoelastic or bounce off solution that gets on the surface of the lens. Without having to hand it back to your surgical tech, you can just ask for a Wexel sponge to gently clean off the surface yourself in a more efficient manner. When initially placing the lens on the surface, a quick way to orient which direction the hands frigonio prism should be placed on the eye to gain the proper view is to assess where the majority of the lens is facing at the level of the tip. Where there's more bulk of the prism, that faces you, the surgeon. So you can say, more towards me, and quickly orient the prism in the proper direction. Also, to avoid glare on the gonia prism that appears to often be a reflection of light from your glove of your dominant hand, slightly nudge the hands for gonia prism away from you or further in the nasal direction on the eye. This can create a tilt that allows the glare to be reduced. After surgery, do you want some help with post-operative mix management? Do you wonder what post-operative management looks like on day one, day seven, or day 30? Well, check out my post-operative mix management strategy guide. It's a step-by-step -step treatment roadmap for routine mix cases. Look for the link in the description box below. Well, that's all the hands-free gonio prism tips for now. If you found benefit in that review of best practices and benefits for the Corza hands-free gonio prism, please like the video and share with colleagues. We hope this video will help on your journey to surgical success with angle surgery. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new glaucoma innovation videos. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place for glaucoma innovation made easy for eye care professionals.